Hi everyone. I've been encouraged not to try the uh, experiments here on this uh, particular uh, toroid coil with the magnet and uh, I will continue but the next series of videos uh, might be boring as they will only be uh, doing all kinds of measurements to try to better understand uh, this effect. So um, here's the toroid coil again and uh, I have a larger uh, air gap here which is a three-quarter inch uh, at least uh, because that's a three-quarter inch roll of tape there um, and I've got a larger magnet here that's a one inch cube uh, Neo uh, N50 magnet there and this here is just a uh, piece of rubber uh, that uh, I'm gonna rest my uh, secondary pickup coil on when that time comes uh, this is uh, my setup. I've got my USB scope here and I've got the two probes coming here and this here is all going to be for the secondary coil pickup. Uh, uh, there it is there and uh, that's the uh, capacitor and uh, the diode is, is uh, right there. And uh, our battery bank will be a 12 volt seal lead acid battery which is connected here to my uh, capacitor uh, bank here for doing the measurements of uh, current and uh, the voltage on that battery is 12.88 and uh, there's the resistor on top with my uh, high precision uh, meter there measuring the uh, voltage across that resistor and um, we have a capacitor here that I'll show you what we're going to do with that and uh, my probe here is coming from the signal generator and it's on square wave and that's feeding the uh, gate here this yellow uh, wire here and there's the negative there to the uh, source and I've got a scope probe across the uh, 100 ohm uh, resistor right there and um, we've got another scope probe uh, directly across the uh, signal going in there as well and here you see there are actually three uh, MOSFETs I've put three of them in parallel that was suggested to uh, l uh, to better the uh, performance and I've tried it and I'm getting some better results so that's now included there, here is a 1k ohm uh, resistor and that's going to be uh, for the capacitor bank on the secondary pickup coil tests. So for now, uh, the first test is um, there's our, 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 our uh, voltage and there is our current. So we've got uh, 233 uh, uh, micro amps uh, being returned to the uh, capacitor bank at this time and the circuit is operating and if we uh, look here first this was a suggestion by a user at uh, over unity forum called uh, nextgen67 and he's uh, been helping me and encouraging me to continue the research as he seems to be quite sure he's finding uh, some positive results in the circuit so what he's suggesting is just the signal generator connected and then a capacitor connected to the between the uh, drain and source and uh, if the voltage uh, starts filling up the capacitor we can determine how much is being leaked into the circuit and uh, I will do this setup and I will also do a setup same as this but with the coil in operation as well to make sure that when the coil is added into the equation that the uh, it's not changing the characteristics of the switching as well so I think that's important so we're going to do both tests uh, right now um, so as you see the circuit is in operation and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to disconnect my positive here so now you see the uh, circuit stop going into negative and I'm going to connect the uh, positive here to one side of the capacitor bank and I'll disconnect my quality meter and we're going to measure how much voltage is leaking from the circuit. 
So this is our gate here going to the capacitor and this here is the red lead coming from the coil so basically the circuit is just basically now taking whatever is going to the switch and now sending it to this capacitor All right. so if we look at that that's what it's sending to the capacitor it's a, a very small uh, value and it's in the minus so it's actually not charging a capacitor really it's 0 0.00974 or whatever uh, this is nothing there is no uh, charging effect happening and uh, that could be uh, a contribution of the energy that we're not using of the negative pulses uh, from the uh, signal generator. Um, let's have a look here at the uh, scope shot here. Now if we look at our scope shot there is the data right now. So we're at uh, 37 uh, kilohertz and we're sending 11.72 volts uh, peak to peak at the uh, MOSFET gate. The uh, yellow next uh, section that is the 100 ohm resistor. The 100 ohm resistor is measuring 5.78 volts peak to peak and 968 millivolts uh, RMS and this is what the waveform looks like here. So we've got two full waveforms in there and I'll post these scope shots at the uh, forum topic so people can look at them. So we'll, what I'll do now is I'll just reconnect the circuit back again so as we see we're not you know sending any uh, real energy to charge a capacitor and I'll reconnect my meter here Okay, negative, negative goes here at the back. Okay, now the circuit is reconnected and the circuit again goes back to minus uh, two, uh, 200, 206 uh, micro uh, amps there. And um, if we look at our scope shot, again, we are not going to see hardly any measurable change in that form and if we look still the same frequency uh, you will be able to compare the data because I will post the uh, scope shots there's a little change here right here we have a little uh, less <laughs> RMS voltage across our 100 ohm resistor now that the coil is in operation uh, that is interesting as well so anyways I'll post that scope shot uh, the next test we'll do is we will uh, just remove the coil so we have the coil disconnected now and now and remove the negative here so now we're doing the same thing again connecting this capacitor here with my quality meter here and now we're measuring only the gate and uh, uh, sorry the um, source and the um, wrong connection source and the drain so we're connected to between the source and the drain now of the uh, MOSFETs okay to this capacitor all right and this is what we're picking up again an insignificant amount there is no charging uh, going back to that capacitor that capacitor is a very small capacitor I use that for, to see the effects really quickly it's only 57.63 microfarads and that's an AC capacitor it can go either way a negative or a positive so that's uh, the first thing that uh, this uh, 
video here is demonstrating that there is no uh, leakage coming from the MOSFET when the coil is switching uh, in its preferable uh, setting. Thanks for watching. Bye now.